This video is specifically for you 4.6 two valve owners out there. Now, I've owned this 99 GT since about 2000, and for the majority of its life, it was getting five quarts of engine oil at every oil change. However, the last time I changed the oil, I found out that Ford changed the oil capacity sometime around 2002 to six quarts. Now, I have read online from many sources that Ford actually issued a TSB, also known as a technical service bulletin, to address the change in the oil capacity around that time. However, no recall was ever given. Now, if you look at the owner's manual of my 99 Mustang GT, you'll see it clearly says five quarts of engine oil. Yet the owner's manual from a 2002 Mustang GT says six quarts. I've also confirmed by looking at part numbers that the oil pan never changed between any of these years. Rumor has it that Ford was replacing two valve engines due to oil starvation problems. However, I can't find any real credible sources that can prove that. Despite all of that, the engine oil dipstick was actually redesigned for the 4.62 valve. And so I picked one up for my car. In this video, I'm actually gonna show you the difference in the oil dipsticks, as well as give you the part number so maybe you can get your very own. Now, I didn't find too many videos on YouTube about this issue with oil capacity. So I'm hoping that this is able to help some of you out there. All right, so this is the OEM dipstick out of my 99 Mustang GT. I suspect it's probably the same as every other 96 to 2002, 4.62 valve Mustang. It's that kind of twisted metal. It kind of snakes its way into the oil pan. And you can see there is a crosshatch area right here. Here's your max level. And there's your minimum level. Now the length of this dipstick itself, all the way to the handle is approximately, looks like it's about 28, a little shy of 28 and a half, maybe 28 and 3 eighths inches long. And this is what was originally equipped with my, my car when it called for five quarts. And filling it up, you did get five, five quarts of motor oil. This here, this is the replacement uh, engine oil dipstick that was first introduced in, I believe, 2002. Um, and as you can see, it is considerably shorter. And as a result, it takes an additional quart for it to fill up to the full area, which is actually in this area right here. You can see there's the max line, there's the min line. And if you remember, this was 28 and 3 eighths of an inch. This particular oil dipstick is 25 and a quarter inches. So it's just about three inches shorter. And because of that, you do fill it up. It'll take six quarts to fill it up. Now, do you need this dipstick? No, no, you can certainly just fill six quarts on your old dipstick and it'll just show overfill. Or you could simply use maybe a hacksaw or something to slice a new min and max level on your old dipstick. But I like this because it is OEM Ford. As you can see, it looks nearly identical, but it does look completely OEM. And to be honest with you, the cost of this varies. It'll probably be between $22 and $30 for a brand new OEM. This is actually the Ford part it came in. And here's the number. That gets you an OEM Ford dipstick, which will give you the six quarts. So like I said, I, I hope this helps people out there. Um, I read a lot about this TSB. Like I said, I was una unable to find it. If you know more about this TSB or you could provide some type of uh, reference number, please write it in the comments below. I'd very much appreciate reading about it. However, it is clear that Ford did change the recommended oil capacity for the 4.62 valve. And if you want to change your dipstick to, uh, to reflect the different oil capacity, this is kind of what you need to order. And it's an easy swap in and it looks OEM. So I hope that helps some of you out there. And if you have any questions or comments, put them in the section down below. I'll do my very best to answer them. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.